Hello everybody, my name is Luchara, and this is Mega Games Tycoon 2, another episode of my Let's Play. Last episode released Dungeon Diver 5, Lord of the Rims 3, and it's time for a new game, and I believe the plan was to make a simulation game, I think? Which would be my first simulation game? Yes, because it's popular and not saturated, and... Wait, did I do the engine for it yet? Or do I still have to do the engine? I for I am... Forgetful. It is done. That's what I thought, but hey, better safe than sorry. So, new. Simulation. Well, I will leave it at size B for now. Main topic. I usually just do light loots flight sim, airplanes, but let's do oh archery. And is hunting a thing? Call this bow hunter? <laughs> bow hunter? Sure. Why not? I mean people hunt with bows, right? I think. <laughs> Bow Hunter Simulator. I don't know how good that's going to be, but whatever. All right. So we just did multi platform. Uh, you know what? Let's do one more multi platform here and then we'll do an exclusive after. There we go. I am, of course, including my two consoles in, the, in this. We're getting a lot of users from the PC and Qatari. Not so much from my consoles, but they're both relatively new. The handheld in particular is extremely new. Um, we're currently doing the cost optimization for the Luchera Vision, so its sales are on the upswing. I say that as there's a dip here, but this dip is due to the holiday season ending. We had a really good holiday season for consoles. Really good. All right, turn on all the languages. Okay, there's our engine stuff. We're pros at the sound, AI, and physics. Getting better at the modern 2D block graphics. Turn on everything that matters here. 14 out of 10. So this is definitely going to be B+. I'm not cutting four features. And here, okay, so simulation. Story can go down a couple. Um, probably depth. Uh, would depth go up or down? What about innovation? Mission design? I don't know. I don't know in a sim. We're going to go core. Um, Nonviolent? Violent? I mean, it could go either way. And here, uh, I'm going to say graphics up. Graphics and sound. I don't know. Something like that. I know this is the settings for something. <laughs> I don't know if it's simulation, though. We'll see. We'll find out, I guess. All right. Perfect. And. Oh, oh, it's like, where's my graphics team and sound team? They're right here. Graphics. Sound. UA. Are they caught up on game reports? Yeah, just the one there. We'll work on this game. Improve the gameplay. Perfect. Research team is currently making the case for handheld. Console team is currently working on cost optimizing the Luchera Vision. Once that is done, I think I will work on durability. Get these warranty claims down a bit. You know, that should help. I don't know if it'll help sales. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. I mean, it'll reduce warranty claims, but... It's not like I'm paying out a lot, right? In warranty cases, I paid out 70000 total. That's not a lot in the grand scheme of things. And the marketing team is currently working on finding ops workers. Dungeon Diver 4 is off the market. That makes sense, since Dungeon Diver 5 just came on the market. This was an exclusive to the Lucera Vision. It moved 10,000 units. And this actually made money. Not much money. <laughs> $200,000. But considering it was an exclusive to a console that had very few users at the start, that's pretty good to make a little bit of money. All right, so let's end automation here. Let's uh, advertise Bow Hunter. It has no hype at all right now. It's good to at least get up to 40 hype. You can make the argument that anything over 40 is a waste of money, but getting to 40 is a no-brainer. Absolutely worth every penny because it's not that many pennies. Right. And I think I am going to do one TV spot. That'll get it to 70, and that's that's enough. You don't need to do two. Plus, I'd have to wait as well. Okay, so I clicked on, I clicked through that. Another game just came off the market, and uh, it lost money. So it was another exclusive for Luchera Vision. But we're making money on the Luchera Vision. It's already profitable. So all those exclusives, you can make the argument, were worthwhile. All right, so let's make another engine. Develop new engine, sports, sports ball engine. Um, we'll make it for the chair vision. 
put on all put in all the best things and we will call this ball engine and i know you know hockey doesn't use a ball but and we might make a hockey game we probably will i mean i'm canadian pretty sure i get deported if i don't make a hockey game right that's just how it is all right everybody's busy working hard uh, a lot of bugs Ooh, only 60 to 80. i think we, once we get these bugs out and do a little more polishing hopefully it'll be 70 to 90. i'm hoping but yeah somebody asked the question uh in comments for last video about if you just polish forever could you eventually just have 100 percent games all the time and the answer is not really um there's a little more to it than that so Polishing will get these scores higher. And these scores are important, don't get me wrong, but there's more to making a good game than just these scores. For one thing, you need a certain distribution among these scores, depending on what genre it is. Your sliders matter, your experience level and everything that you do, you know, your stars all contribute to your, the review score. Um, but polishing will get these numbers up and it will make the game better. Also. Once you get up to like 98% review scores, it just kind of gets, there's a random element, I think. Like you could make a game that in theory should be perfect, but it might only be 98% because you need basically, you need to get lucky to have anything over 98. But even consistently making 98 review scores is tricky, right? All right, so that is done. Let's blast through this commission work. We're gonna make, do I wanna make a sports game? That'd be back-to-back -back games that are new IPs or new genres and new IPs. Yeah, I think I will. Hopefully it's over 70 because that gets us an achievement at least. And for anybody who's not aware, oh yeah, we got an 80%. The achievements in this game do give small bonuses. I just wanna show it briefly. So for example, um, for having a simulation game with a rating over 70%, plus 1% advanced, Bands generated through games. And they're small bonuses, 1%, 1%. They do they do add up, you know, if you're working, you know, it's only 1% now, but if I was working 5% faster and I sold 5% more games and I generated 5% more fans, right? Those things start, they start adding up. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to get those achievements. But it's not the end of the world if you miss, right? All right, so new... Sports game. Uh, we do baseball. We do boxing. Although boxing is more of a fighting game in my mind. Well, I'm sure sports would work as well. Um, uh, ice hockey. That's yeah, ice hockey, not hockey. Let's go ice hockey. Um, we'll go teenagers. And we'll just call this Luchera hockey. Because that's what it is. It's my hockey game. We'll go B+. Plus. Pretty sure that'll be relevant. Ball engine. Um, yeah, let's go exclusive, manufacturer exclusive this time, just for mine. So it's obviously not going to sell nearly as well, but it also costs less to make. Exclusives are quite a bit cheaper. All right, so story definitely can go down. Um, probably beginner friendly up, game depth down, game length down, level design, mission design. I don't even know <laughs> for sports game character design. Casual, vile, yeah, I just don't know. You know what? I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to leave it. We'll find out. <laughs> 12 to 20. I mean, I could cut two things. I don't think I want to, though. Trower support is very important. Joystick support, character progression, character customization, split screen multiplayer, high scores. All right. Sports game it is. So that's two fresh IPs in a row. So definitely going to do a sequel next game. Get back on that sequel train. I do love that sequel train. <laughs> okay, and high quality sounds, high quality music. Right, music is there. Graphics. <laughs> um, yeah, let's bit, let's get through these game reports quickly, and then we will work on um, work on the chair of hockey. There we go. All right, so they're on the last thing of cost optimization. They're working on hardware research for a new tech level two 
um, console, but I'm not going to make an, I shouldn't say new, because I'm not going to make a new tech level two console. I'll be revising these two up to tech level two when the time comes, which will really help their longevity and even more um, research coming in. All right, continue development. I haven't even marketed up to 40x. I'm kind of uh, kind of asleep the wheel. There's a lot going on. When you have it on double speed, you gotta <laughs> things can get away from you a little bit. Continue development. Let's do the special marketing demo pre-release for the press. Again, as long as it's over 70, I'm happy. Right? It's our first hockey or first sports game and our first hockey game. And yeah. All right. So cost optimization is done for the chair vision. So it's now half as much as it was. To, um, my cost is half as much to make this compared to what it was when it first came out, right? 51%, it's a little over half. So that means the price is lower, that means it's selling more, right? We're selling about twice as many Luchera Visions as Mini Visions, but it's also a bigger bonus, right? 37% sales bonus versus 16 because there's just more games for Luchera Vision just because it's been out longer. So let's improve the durability. How long is this gonna take? 3.4 million. I don't know if that's really worth it. Honestly. <laughs> um, how close am I to having a tech level two console? No, oh, well, we don't have a CPU. Oh, no, we're a ways away. Oh, I'm a long ways away. Okay. <laughs> None of this is tech level two yet, except the fans. We do have the case and the controller for tech two. That's it. Okay, so we're we're a long ways away. So yeah, let's let's boost up the durability, I guess. Then um, let's just do three. I want to see how long it takes. Just do that. What is the maximum durability anyway? Do I need to do everything to get it maxed? Yes, yes, I do. Okay. Um, let's just do the first. Three for now. This row, the map. We'll just improve the memory for now. Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, and so, previously, special marketing is done here. Development report still sixty to eighty. Yeah, let's push it out. Also, the end of the week. Let's pause to the end of the week. Um, let's see if we can find a couple more QA people here. That'd be nice. And we're looking for skilled workers. Only skilled workers here at Lutronics. All right, Jump Engine was licensed. to not make much money from that, and that is fine. I'm not expecting to make a lot of money from my engines. They're there mostly for me. I do offer them for license, but they're they're there for me. All right, oh, Data West is upset. That usually means it's a decent game, because if it was crap, they wouldn't care that they didn't get to publish it, right? And it should sell okay, because it's completely unsaturated. Okay, 82%. We're happy with that. We're very happy with that. All right, so now we've hit these two. It's nice to have extras, right? Extra um, genres. So stuff shouldn't be quite as saturated. Action's not super saturated. Platformer's really not super saturated. So let's do a platformer. Do I have a platformer actively on the market? I do Super Lucera Bros. So I could do, well, let's check uh, check the engine first, I guess. See if it's up to date. It is not, it is almost up to date. So this will be quick. Um, unlucky, we're gonna pass on you. So let's do free updates. Oh yeah, we're behind on the free updates big time. Uh, let's do some commission work here. There's There's somebody that we like. Nothing but positive traits. Oh, lots of commission work here. Uh -huh. There's another. I mean, they're greedy, but, you know, that's fine. Uh, we're going to pass on you because you're a slow learner. All right, so develop a game. Sequel. Super Marlow World. Really worth it. Yeah, it's 40 hype out of the gate. 340 hype. Super Marlow World 2, BP Plus, Vampires and Aliens. <laughs> Do those apply? Aliens do not. And vampires do. Okay. So we'll leave vampires. We'll switch aliens 
to angels. It's way better, <laughs> apparently. And uh, jump engine, let's go not exclusive here, but of course I will include mine. And that looks good. We'll be getting new copy protection soon. Basically, whenever they get below 81% effectiveness, generally speaking, a new one comes out around then. All right, so let's just make sure these sliders are where they were for Super Lucera Bros. Yeah. So let's check the letters for Super Lucera Bros. What do we got here? There's not many letters here. Uh, too much for core. Better level design. That's it? That's all you got for me? <laughs> oh, mm, okay. I mean... Try that, I guess. I mean, some of them are in the right place, but... Not all. Ooh, 17 to 20. Everything applies. <laughs> oh, and hey, if you're joining... If you're enjoying this episode, if you're enjoying the series in general, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already. It helps me out a lot as a, as a small YouTuber. Speaking of which, I just want to take a second to shout out my patrons. I couldn't do it without you. If you want to support me on Patreon, links in the description down below. Back to the video. All right, so we need to improve the graphics. We need to improve the sounds. The graphics team is still working on the commission work. And they're still working on the commission work. All right, so that, uh, <laughs> that engine update was faster than I expected. Let's do a free update to Bow Hunter, Pirate Ninjas 2. Saw it to market, made a cool $3 million. Nice. Holy crap. <laughs> These are some big mission works, apparently. They're taking a long time. It feels like a long time, anyway. And Bow Hunter and Dungeon Diver 5 are selling pretty well. We got to end automation. We gotta... Enough, enough with the commission work. Ah, so much happening. Okay, pause. Just pause. Pause. Take a breath, Luch. All right, and high quality graphics. All right, I don't think I need any more QA testers right now. Got commission work here. Is fine. This game is coming. Do I want to market it? Yeah, let's throw a let's throw a TV spot at it. Just one though. Just the one. I'm not a pro at uh, platformers yet, right? I'm not confident it's going to be, you know, a 90% plus. Well, it should be. Ish? I don't know. Let's go with a large booth. All right, so Super Marvel World 2, obviously. Chair Hockey. And Bow Hunter. And, of course, I'll just do my two consoles. Not much of a decision there. Easy peasy. Okay, we got new research coming through. Okay, so they're done with the durability thing. So it didn't take super long to do that. Durability is up to 5.8. Uh, I, I feel like cost optimization on the mini vision would be good. Probably the earlier I do that, the better. We're currently in a summer slump. That's why sales appear to be down. Yeah, let's do cost optimization. On the mini vision enable all it's expensive and it takes a long time but it'll be worth it i feel wait there's another case i feel like i just researched the case didn't i maybe not maybe i'm crazy it's possible all right so the sound team's going to be done in polishing but we're going to be waiting for graphics and qa because i had that busy doing commission work yeah 70 to 90 already and there's like I said lots of work to be done yet at 92 hype actually so because of the the show the games show whatever you want to call it there so we are going to do overhype below if i was going to do overhype i shouldn't have bothered putting the demo out yeah overhype might not work it might it might still be relevant we'll see all right so container development still 70 to 90 which is a little disappointing uh, but it is what it is so I was going to do an action game, probably, because it's not super saturated. So let's update that action engine. I think it probably just needs... Oh, no, wait. Action engine is up to date. Okay. Well, what isn't up to date, I wonder? 
puzzle definitely isn't up to date. So let's update that. I can tell because it's still at the table too there. Perfect. All right, so they're polishing. They're pol everybody's polishing. The uh, special marketing is done. Overhype did not work. So hopefully this is actually over 90. I mean, we got our high score in literally every category here. It's funny and, and confusing. So the graphics and sound scores, the points, is what confuses me. Um, now, I understand why this is low. We had our sliders at the same spot. They were both at 20% for graphics and sound. I did everything I could in the graphics studio. I did everything I could in the sound studio. The sound studio started earlier, so they had way more time to polish, right? Because the graphics studio was busy. So why does graphics have over 200 points more? You know what I mean? I'm confused by that. Anyway, is what it is, I guess. It's only my third platformer. Is it because the engine, like the graphics feature we have with the engine is better, right? Because there's a relatively new one. Oh, 89%. I was hoping for 90. Um, just because for the sales bonus here, you get um, you get 2% or 4% if it's exclusive if it's over 90. Well, you only get half as much if it's 80 to 89. So considering I have two consoles and was that game an exclusive? I forget. I mean, if that was an exclusive, it means we lost 2% sales to each, right? It wasn't an exclusive. So uh, we just lost 1%. By being, an, oh, by being an 89 instead of a 90, which is not the end of the world by any stretch. So I believe I was going to make an action game, right? Because it's not super saturated. Actually, a lot of things aren't super saturated anymore. Ooh, I should do strategy soon, too. How long is this a trend for? Oh, that's 52 weeks. That would be a year. Although, although, I should point out that a year in this game is 48 weeks, not 52, right? Because each month is four weeks even. There's no, you know, two or three extra days. Um, anyway, that's really another here or there. Let's do a sequel, though, because I just did, well, I recently did two brand new IPs, so I do not feel guilty for just slamming the sequels. Um, action. So Pirate Ninjas 3, that seems like a no-brainer. Pirate Ninjas 2 came off the market relatively recently. Um, let's go exclusive this time. Let's remember to change this to action. I do forget that sometimes. Don't hesitate to point it out in the comments, though, if I do forget it, because it'll help motivate me to be diligent in not forgetting to change it. Um, okay, so the new copy protection. Literally, when this week ends, new copy protection will come out. That's my prediction. Is it a bold prediction? Maybe, maybe not. We'll, we will see. Inspired Ninjas 2, my most recent action game. Yeah, it looks that way. So let's look at the fan letters. More beginner friendly. We can do more beginner friendly. Better level design. We can do that. Too innocuous. Too easy. So where's mission design supposed to go then? Try that? Maybe? I don't know turn on everything 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 does matter for an action game all right so we got 40 hype right out of the gate i'm expecting this game to be good though so well it's only my third action game you know what we're gonna mark it right up to 100 screw it <laughs> yolo and stuff um game reports we got two yeah let's do those game reports here i want to update the strategy engine because strategy is looking Pretty appealing. Never mind, strategy game, strategy engine is already up to date. So instead, uh, let's do this commission work that's sitting here. They're almost, my research team has been done nothing but hardware this whole episode. They haven't had a chance to breathe. I mean, it is 1982, it's a technological revolution. Not really. <laughs> In real life, the video game market is about to crash. In the early mid 80s there's a big oh my prediction was wrong no wait it was right safe force 2.0 is it and we can we can add it on the fly which is nice you, you this option didn't used to be here 
I mean, this was an early access game. Oh, and right now I want to shout out, I've been playing and doing content for this game for over two years. So A, shout out to the developer for making a good game and constantly updating it. But I, what I really want to shout out is the people that have been watching for two years, right? Shout out to you. Also, I want to say hi and welcome to the new people because there's a lot of new viewers that just started watching when this game came out of early access recently. So hello, and I appreciate all of you very much. So free update, Super Mario World 2. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's selling pretty good. Actually, Luchera Hockey selling pretty good considering it's it's exclusive. I'm pretty happy with those numbers. So let's actually, uh, actually throw another update at it. I think that'd be good. Yeah, this cost optimization takes a long time. <laughs> Our sales on the upswing. Well, sales are on the upswing, but that's also because uh, summer slump ended. Um, let's continue development on you. And then let's do some special marketing, pre-release special marketing. Um, what's the estimate? Still only 70 to 90. Hey, I don't know if I want to do overhype then. But we'll do the pre-release for the press for sure. You know what? I feel like it's going to be over 90. I don't, I don't know why I feel like that. That may be very misplaced <laughs> confidence in the product. Yeah, the overhype didn't work anyway. It's apparently 50-50 whether or not overhype goes through. Still got 215 topics to get through. That's okay. Um, all right, so we can release this. Yeah, yeah. I think it, if it's... I hope it's 90 or better. Just for the extra sales bonus, right? In particular. Because especially since it's exclusive, right? There we go, 91%. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, strategy game. War of the Three Kingdoms is still on the market, although not from what... I could do War of the Kingdoms 3. This is going to be off the market very soon. Develop a game. Sequel. I could do Master of Moon. Now let's go Master of Moon 3 first. Master of Moon 3. Um, I just did an exclusive, right? Yeah. So let's do multi-platform. PC, Katari. What else is out there? Is there anything that can even come close to Katari? Probably not. Um, no. 9.2 is a lot less than uh, 26.9. And I mean, I could get more sales if I didn't do them for my consoles, but I'm trying to trying to do well, trying to do right by my consoles, right? All right. So those should be right. Those these sliders should be right. Wait, no. There. Now they're right. Man, there's these are some extreme sliders. I mean, you got the four and you got the six, but eight. 10, 0, 1, 1, 10, 0 down here as well. That's crazy. So yeah, if you don't know where to put the sliders, it's hard to get a good strategy game right out of the gate just because of the sliders. All right, so let's do one TV spot for this. Just the one though. Although I predict this game I expect to be to be good, to be really good. Um. Any of these engines need an update? I feel like everything's probably up to date. Check racing. Racing's good. All right, so let's just do uh, get some free updates out there. Well, we'll do commission work, I guess, first. And there we go. And graphics. Perfect. And I just realized this episode is over 29 minutes long. Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Um, so that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Most importantly, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.